Ah, uh, hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today we're gonna be playing some Rogue Lance. What character should we run? We just got done with a pretty sick accident run. Simple, just kill one boss, and I kind of want to do some more challenge runs. You know, just beat the final boss doing one specific type of run. Why don't I do a gauge, but with no anarchy? I think that could be something... Something tricky, something fun, because, you know, the biggest complaint that I've heard, especially recently in the Gearbox community, I mean, probably maybe because I've been paying more attention to the Gearbox community recently, but. Gage is supposedly completely dependent on anarchy, and that probably is true for the OP levels, but hey, this, no one says we got to go all the way to the OP levels. We got electric. SMG team elemental effect damage 20 52 percent, hopefully. That can be something good for us. I know dot damage isn't supposedly that good. But hey, we can try. We can definitely try. Uh, What a booster. I like booster shields because I, I do pick them up. Like I do make the effort to pick them up. We're going to want a launcher in slot 4, by the way. The launcher in spot 4. This Hyperion SMG is going to be slot 1. I mean, is it even worth taking a... What was the grenade? A throw on Merv? Yeah, it's a Merv, actually. Put some respect on Merv's name. Into the warm water we go. This is a pretty fun map, and th th there's a pressure plate in the center right there on top. Um, I can go grab that. Oh, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, brother? Let's see, that's the elemental effect damage. How's it How's it doing? It's it's doing, like, what? 2-3% per tick on, like, pretty non-tanky enemies not the best but we can maybe get there looking for loot enemies early on i like to spawn in as many enemies as i can in the early game that way there's more chances of a loot enemy spawning so i'm not gonna take the jump yet we're gonna open up this chest first a, a ravager i'm trying to be more uh i'm trying to be more Accepting of Torg shotties. Now, this is a tough jump. I'm sorry if I don't hit it. Got it. Nice. Let's see. A transaction, an injector, or a quartz carbine. That thing looks pretty sick. Um, I think it could be pretty cool if we have to go up against corrode corrosion enemies. To rock something like that. Okay, okay. I get it, guys. You guys are, you guys are mad at me. Yeah, I am. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're talking about me wasting their time. I get it. I get it. I'm just looking around at the weapons. It's Borderlands. Alright, what did we get? A home and corrosive cloud. Good, but not not right now. Rubberized light transfusion. I like the longbow fire burst for this situation. Let's throw it right at the ground. Wait. Can I get the longbow fire burst, please? Thank you. Longbow fire burst. Okay. See if I can drag these guys into one of them. A few time though. Into the burst, into the burst. Nice. Huge. Are they invisible or are they untargetable? Good question. Let's let's use this fire sniper. Round one is usually one of the harder rounds in, in Borderlands Roguelands, that's for sure. Got some more laddies. Let's try out this Ravager. Oh my gosh, this is super badass. Look what Death Trap's about to come up. I'm gonna take a lot of damage for this exchange. Death Trap, I need you back up here, buddy. The tossing nades at me, and the super badass has got his angle that he needs. There we go. Let's toss some nades at this guy's feet. I want to get. I want to take out this guy before any of the other guys because I want the, the the loot from him. I'm not sure if you if you killing him gets you more loot or whatnot, but. Oh, come on. Duck. They can't hit me if they can't see me. Huge. Alright. Turn around. No big loot from this from super badass, which is strange. Scroll up. Oh, yeah. We're definitely taking this Torg launcher. And five points. Let's see. Five points. If we're not going to be going anarchy at all, I kind of still want the reload speed. The reload speed is super, super nice. Your bullet, your bullets that hit walls or other objects have a chance to ricochet. It's not so great without anarchy. How about increase my chance to do status effects? 
We could do it. We don't need anarchy to make shock work. Right? <laughs> I want to put a couple more red chests and get a move on here. That be a red chest. Oh, here we go. A turtle shield. Here's my issues that I like the I like the shields because of blood soaked shields. I mean, honestly, I think a giant turtle shield might be exactly what we want. Run around, spread dots. It could be our, our way to victory. Uh, we got enough gear here. Let's go on and move on to the next stage. The forge, I should be good here. I don't think these guys resist shock. Could be wrong. But they do have... Whoa! There we go. Just, just win some headshots on this guy. But they don't... They have a little mask that blocks it for the first while. So, makes it difficult. What do we got? SMG max ammo, pistol, or green account? Let's take the SMG max ammo. And do we have for grenades anything else besides this fire burst? I kind of like the idea of a... A slag transfusion. Just, just we can get slags and take these enemies out one at a time. There we go. Toss. What's the nice about transfusion and slag together is that the transfusion grenades, look how they, they seek out enemies. You see that? They also get the slag element, which is insanely strong. It's like having homing slag grenades with, point, with 0, 0.0 fuse time. The so slag transfusions are like my favorite. As long as they have a... As long as they have a short fuse time on the initial grenade. Because then I can pretty much slag everything instantly. Watch. It's so broken. And I have, an, I have an increased chance to slag with my... Uh, with my skill that I took. Oh, loot, loot. Architect. So we slag him. And then we bag him. There we go. What is it? The anti-affection grenade? I just talked to... <laughs> so long about why I like the grenade I currently had, but the anti-affection is a pretty sick grenade. A lumpy bank stick? We're doing status effect damage. Status effect, so. Explosive grenades aren't going to be it for us this run. Wait for one to get slagged. I chose the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah. That's okay. He's down. And the slag remains. Never punished. Never punished. Very nice. Oh, we're going to take this green one next round. People like Torque shotguns, but unfortunately, I'm just on a different track. I want to see when your gun, when your magazine is full, you regenerate health, or what, let's make our shield capacity just really insanely high. If we get hit by shock, and if we get hit by shock, that's why we have the shock damage resist. I'm basically a raid boss now, right? Let's see. What do we get? Melee override, or no, no, no. I I will go. I I do I definitely do want to go an anarchy melee uh, gauge build, but just not, not this run. Is there not a, a chest over here? I swear there's a chest over here. That's okay. Oh. Okay. Squeeze through there. Red chest me. A shock plasma caster would probably be the absolute best, but these are some really nice elemental options. Woo. A little slag. I definitely feel some bag in our future. Only one we're missing is fire, but... Unpopular opinions. Flesh enemies are the easiest to kill, regardless of element. <laughs> joking, obviously. Joking. Amala one or the Hyperion? Does more dot damage, but how much does that matter? The fire rate the, is lower. The base damage, well, it's very comparable is the problem. The reload speed's a lot longer, though. At this point, it's going to be about which one I think looks cooler. I think this one, while it does look cool, reload me. That's a pretty long reload. I'm not so sure if I want it. Anyways, let's have two and in, in, in speed through the next stage. I'm, I'll be happy to have the green power up here because we have to cover a lot of ground. Kill this skag here. 
Come on, spawn in the badass. It's not gonna. If I can get one rabbit skag kill, I'll be happy. Okay, it's gone. That's okay. Let's go throw some rubberized transfusions out there. There we go. Anyone else gonna get slacked? How about some rubberized transfusion, brother? Oh my gosh, I need to throw it at something. Like, and it, it needs to basically hit an enemy, right? There we go. Once they get slagged, it becomes a lot easier. I believe, yeah, once we get down to this tree a little bit further, in the blue, in the middle tree, we are going to get interspersed outbursts. This is one of my favorite skills in all Borderlands. It adds slag to our first shot fired after not being in combat for a bit. And the longer we are outside combat, I think the bigger the splash, or like the, the splash is better in some way. To check exactly what it is. Oh, what did we get? We get ammo regen and fire rate. Let's go. Switch, switch to a launcher. Oh wow. We keep our we keep our power up though. That's huge. This is a lot of. Honestly, this was a lot of badass enemies to deal with. Anything for me? No. And best case scenario for me, again, is it's Shock Plasma Caster. Fires don't talk could be good. Let's see. Reloading your gun causes an electrical explosion. How about we do a little bit of when we electrocute, they may also burn and shock and ah. <laughs> shock and ah. Right, chest me. Um, is it better? Fire rate, reload. Reload speed's a lot better. Let's take it. And it looks sick. Bum, 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 bum. Shield recharge rate is going to be important, I think. I think it's going to be important. I'm going to go back to my Hyperion SMG for sure. Hyperion. The presence. I like it. A wired catalyst. We can do it. Anarchy is a crutch. Let's go. Jump. Jump. We made it to the top of the mountain. Let's go. I'm not too keen on switching, but you know what? Why don't we just give another weapon a try? It is Borderlands. Sometimes you have to play within the spirit of the game. Shout out to Joshua Summers for becoming. I already shouted him on the channel, but I want to do it again. He's my lad. But uh, yeah, becoming the channel's first member is pretty sick. Plus, it fills the, the airspace because as much as people want me to cut the videos, the more people watch, the more revenue we make. I think that magazine size is more worth. We're going to go Hyperion. If we're not going to be using Anarchy, we might as well get as accurate as possible. Hyperion SMGs. This is a nice barrel, though. This is a, I believe this is a Vladoff barrel on a doll pistol. It's going to give me that nice juicy fire rate. Aim low. And then go to the head for the last few shots. Goliath killing 101. Oh, that electrical burst is nice. Um, I think mine's probably better. My launcher. All right, let's go, baby. No matter, since he's already slagged before we got here. Maybe. Open up this chest, and we're gonna get the banjellas down here as well. This is some nice shields. A Tesla. We are gonna swap to a Tesla. The, because we aren't going to need a slag from our grenade for very much longer. The, so then you might ask, oh wait, Banjo me? Pow. Why not to switch it next round? Because I want to use a Tesla, okay? I'm playing shock gauge. I want to use the, the fancy shock grenade. Not my fault. What's the fuse time though? The fuse time could change everything. No, 0 0.6 is good. Oh wow, Spiko. Last time I tried to fight you, you, you hid in the mountains. What changed, brother? Mister. 
Listen, you, oh no, you're stuck back there. Sp oh, of course, Spyco. Craziness. You take that. You're going down. Yes, Spyco down, Spyco down. Well, you do a grenade. I don't like not having Death Trap out in the battlefield, though, is my only thing. This is bad news, bears. I think we're okay. Yep, we're fine. Burn damage up us out there. Nice, okay. What did we get? We got the Energized Commerce. I think it might be a better version of the blue I already have. I know that it's not like a, like a goaded weapon or anything, but it's it kind of just is like a better version of the one I got, so... If there's ever a time to use it, it's right now. Um, until I would like to get interest burst outburst if we can. Electrocute damage and chance to shock. Electrocute damage and chance to shock. We'll do it. Plus we get a bunch of points in all shock and electrocute damage. Actually, yeah, let's take the elemental damage multiplier. Because at this point, it is it is pretty much universal. Because I'm forcing my hand by using the shock grenade. And the final banjo is right around this corner. Oh, yeah. What do we got? Reprise, Bouncing Betty, Corrosive Cloud. A turtle shield is a little bit worse than my own. A corrode immune sh uh, shield. I interesting, interesting. Oh, no. My lad's immune to shock. My lad's immune to shock. Takes a lot less damage in general. This build's gonna get washed. Can we do anything in this build? Either way, we're gonna have to switch up our weapons. Like we can't we, we can't use shock against this lad. It's gonna have to be this. Yeah, it's going to have to be. And our grenade. This guy doesn't stay in the same place for very long. The anti-affection could be good, though. All right, let's try it. We don't really have a lot of skills that necessarily help us with this battle. That's okay, though. We can do it. No anarchy gauge against Tinder Snowflake. One of the harder bosses, in my opinion. Definitely a cool one. What do we jam out in terms of the music? Music, we go into five. And we focus up because we're going to have to. Come on now. Give me something to hit. Okay, he's already, he's already doing his annoying attack. That one's not so bad. That one's not so bad. As long as you're not in the, in the way of it. Jump. Do the, do the attack, brother. Do the, do, the, do the breath attack. Breath attack. Yes. If we can get just to within range of that breath attack and then back off, that's probably going to be our best bet to beat this guy. Back. Turn around. Ow. I need to get my shield to recharge. Don't hit me. Yes, yes, yes. Shield recharge, recharge, recharge. Turn around. Ow. That's not good. I got no way to get my shield back. I might just have to. I might just have to go Borderlands DPS mode. You kill Frostbiter. I'm gonna get hit pretty hard here. Yep, that's okay. Get some. Get some grenades out there. Yes, walk right through them. Yes, that's the only way that we come out of here alive. Just walk straight through my fire grenades, brother. Might as well use Death Trap because there's no reason not to. He still has a little bit of HP. Still dangerous. Let's keep the DPS going. Okay, he's gone. Easy. Pick up some free kills here too. Might as well. For the fun of it. Okay. I'm I'm ready for a unique item to re revolutionize our run. 
Let's see. The Sidewinder Trikitira. The Kitten. Or the Miss Moxie's Bad Touch. So we're going to take a Miss Moxie's Bad Touch for sure. The Bad Touch is a... Yeah, the, the Moxie weapon that heals us. Look at this bad Larry. So if we're going to fight something that needs to be corroded, that's going to be a really good option for us. The Kitten, I like a lot too, but do we need the Slag? Hmm. I mean, I just like it. You know, I, I just like it. But to me, if we're going to be getting free Slag, it doesn't synergize with our, with our character. Not right now, at least. If I was running Anarchy, maybe. I think, I think we just go back to what we were doing. We want elements. So if it doesn't have an element, I mean, it does have slag, but we're going to be running interspersed outburst. Right. One, two, three, four points in it. So. But we, what we could also do is we could also use a slag weapon to slag death trap, give him that slag chance. Be something good. I'm happy we can go back to our shock weapons now, though. Sticky longbow shock transfusion. You know, what? let's do the sticky longbow shock transfusion. Let's have some fun with it. It's a mix between our two builds. That was pretty good. It's also going to help us stay alive and give us a little bit more shock shock damage against some tougher enemies. Easy. And then we can also follow them to get to go like know where, to, where enemies are at instead of having to look at the mini map. Let's go. Cross me. In the longbow. Yeah, I like that. Fuse time is not egregious either. Ooh, yeah. I feel like I got a bit more of like a mage playstyle going on now. But I like. Very nice. And I like the longbow better than the rubberized too, as well. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I envision, envision playing as Gage when I'm not running Anarchy. Oh, nice try with that slide transfusion. But Longbow's the new... Longbow's the new thing. It's all the buzz. All the kids are talking about it. See you later. Reload me. And I can reload whenever I want. I don't have to be careful about when I reload. So I can... I can use my chain. I can shock people much, much more often. Okay, I'm gonna talk about how good it is, and then I'm gonna die to a barrel. Okay, there we go. Let's back up and just hit that shock barrel. Why don't we? Here we go, Torg Rider. Throw the shock grenade, get on target, and now these guys can go to somebody else. And I can intersperse, outburst this laddie. Where are you going? Toss. Yeah, I like I like our gameplay right now. I think it's fresh. I think it's fun. More points in interspersed outburst. I want the reload speed. A lot of reload speed. Do we need anything else in this field? I don't think so. I don't think we need to do a critical hit causes an electrical storm. How about missing shots is okay? Missing shots is okay, or a kill skill. The damage that your burn, let's shoot, and corrode status effects deal for a short time. It's The fact is that it's a kill skill, and I don't have any yet, which is like nice to think about for my build. On top of that, I'm not sure how much the status effect damage does without the community patch being active. So let's do... It's too close enough. I mean, it's going to have a little bit of synergy with our Hyperion uh, SMGs because of the fact that we miss our first few shots. And it's going to get us... We are missing. By the way, how about... Can we get some shoutouts to this... To this energized commerce? Like ripping through enemies or what? Our red chest me. That's an explosive nasty surprise. But I've kind of fallen in love with this 
We will, I will swap to a longbow corrosive trans, uh, transfusion. I like the longbow transfusions in the elements. Keeps me healed up. It does some okay damage. Not fantastic damage, but it's damage that doesn't hurt me. I think I'm starting to figure out how I like to play. That's a good feeling. Especially on Gage. Not running Anarchy has kind of opened up some doors for me. All right. What do we got? Let's see. Shield capacity. And shield recharge rate. Uh, it's only 1% less capacity. And it has the rate attached. Like, that's the interspersed outburst I'm talking about. Look how much damage that just did. How ridiculous. And then, then the grenades come in. They help me out. Easy. Reload me. I, I would try... I would try something... Like a doll assault rifle. Oh, but I'm, I'm dropping weapons on the ground. I got to empty out my inventory. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, y'all ready? Boom. All right, let's go. Three more kills in this area. This area. A homing Tesla, I sleep. We're on a much different track nowadays. Wait, where's my enemies at? Oh, here they are. Dropping into my head. It's slagged. Oh, let's wait for interspersed outburst and don't end my run. Oh my gosh. Do not end my run, brother. I, I can kill him just with some interspersed outburst. Boom. Yeah, he's got to wait just a second before engaging the next enemy and boom. It's just it killed him so much faster. Energized presence. I already have one. Instead, I get the energized unique commerce. All right, so for our next points, we're going to take some more reflection. Death trap can restore our shield to the full in a pinch. That's enormous, the turtle shield. Let's do a fancy mathematics, or when your magazine is passed, you can increase fire rates. Hmm. The lower your health, the greater the bonus is. Let's take some, let's take some DPS. I think we, we might be falling short in the DPS without anarchy, so the fire rates can be helpful. Especially in raid boss situations. Like I'm I'm gonna be starting to think like how can we actually beat a raid boss? Washburn Refinery? A reef? Okay, where are we going to be fine here? I'm going to mix up my grenade, though. Let's have some fun with a different kind of grenade. If for no other reason, just, just, just to have some fun. Oh, wait, but the fuse time. Hmm, the fuse time is pretty, is pretty legit trash. That's okay. That's, if those clean him up, I'll be happy with it. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with it. We just keep them rolling. Keep me healed up. You want an element? Here. Take some corrosion, brother. You don't go after him, you go after me, you understand? Neurosa grenades get him before he gets me. Okay, thanks. EXP loader. Now we're talking. Corrosion me. What did we get in the chest, by the way? We got... A bandit SMG over a purple model one. I don't. I don't. I normally would would try to experiment with different you know, manufacturers and stuff, but I just don't see how that could be possibly be better. I gotta shoot. Pop up with some corrosion. Should I just swap over to a corrosive? Yeah, I think it might be better. Also, focus on hitting crits. Need some grenades. Grenages. Thank you. Walk up, walk back. Let's toss a grenade. Grenade should clean that, clean him up. Okay, well, looks like we're fine. We got a pretty nice shield right now. I don't think we need to be replacing it at this moment in time. And the door's open, which is huge. Override cooldown rate? Nope, nope. SMG max ammo. We can mix up our weapon types. We're not locked into one type of weapon. Look, I have this doll I can use. Let's see. Shield capacity, shield recharge rate, interspersed outbursts, and fancy mathematics. I think this is going to be the exact kind of shield that we're looking for. Or exact type of class one that we're looking for. Because interspersed outburst is something that I, I want. For sure. Maxed out. And fancy mathematics is a great skill for us. Admittedly, I thought it was unstoppable force, which is the one I was thinking of, but that's okay. 
Um, let's extend Death Trap's duration. I think that sounds pretty good. We can go Unstoppable Force next time. We are Our shield's already getting pretty buffed up. Yeah, interspersed outburst. I mean, we could even go amp damage rockets with how much shield we got now. Oh, I didn't even know that was there. That's crazy. That could be good. This all could be good. Let's take the, the pistol and move on. The fridge. Gotta love the fridge. All right, we're gonna shoot some brains as well, probably because we are looking for grenades. But now that we have another prefix that we like, I kind of want to hunt for it. Um, let's take this one. I don't think this doll is going to be doing... Whoa, whoa. Can we, uh, relax? It, it didn't have to be that way. Sorry. Alright. You're going down. Wait, I, I swatch out, swap out my corrosive for my even better sticky longbow. Shock version. Interspersed outbursts. I'm really going to be focusing on letting it stack up. Two. Three. Four. Get this guy prepped for me. Five. And now the first hit is going to do a ridiculous amount. That's that. I think I got a sneaking suspicion that our long term damage is going to be kind of relying on interspersed outbursts. What does it actually do? Because we have 11 out of 5 in it. The more stacks you consume, the higher the skill rank, the greater the chance of slagging the target. Your bonus slag. I think it's got to be based on the initial shot. There's no way it's not. Hey, hey that's trap. You want to fill up my shields for me? Um, we're gonna get. Let's just let's just use this. Whatever, just to get moving a little bit faster down the stage. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, also, should we so we can get, shoot the brains? Got one. Run, 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 run. Got two. We've been doing well with all of our different types of weapons. I, I like how we had got the Hyperion uh, SMGs going. I've always liked Hyperion as a manufacturer. Sorry, those of you that hate Handsome Jack or whatnot. Let's see here. Nope, Adaptive Shield's not what we're looking for. Five stacks of interspersed outbursts. I'm just going to give it a try. I'm not sure how good that was. You can get one shot. That's fine. Got some grenades. Let's wait for some more interspersed outbursts. He runs away, doesn't he? Yeah. Where did Rackman go? Right there. Is reloading kill all these lads. Fire one or two bullets and reload. You don't want that work, trust me. So easy. Wait, did we kill Rackman? No, he's still alive. I can't progress, Rackman, until you show yourself. Do the brain while we wait. Let's see. A sticky longbow slag transfusion. Now that. Be good. I absolutely guarantee that thing stays slagged. Hey, there you are. <laughs> what you doing, brother? The buffalo? No thanks. Weapon accuracy, reload speed, more pep. What does more pep do? Let's see. Shoot capacity, advanced mathematics. We don't want to rank the five covers. Uh, let's let's stick with. I think this is our best one, because interspersed outbursts. I don't think the damage scales. The more stacks consumed, the higher the skill rank, the greater the chance of slagging the target. I wonder, does the amount of stacks matter? That's all I'm wondering. Does the amount of stacks matter? Either way, let's take um, kill skill. Getting a kill causes our shields to regenerate.
and give us the movement speed. I know the, the flat damage reduction is probably really good, but I think we're good without it. I kind of want to be able to keep up a DPS on a raid boss and still keep them slagged indefinitely. So for that reason, I'm probably going to go for the purple slag transfusion instead. Instead of the sticky longbow. Uh, shock one. Yeah, to me it just seems like a better bet to use the slag one. Alright, let's do it. Drop in. You can be fire, brother. I'm going shock. Just to keep... We can keep the boss slagged. I think... Not indefinitely, maybe? I'm not too sure. Can this boss even get slagged? Yeah, she... Oh, she's slagged. That's for sure. There we go. Intersperse outburst me. I just want to see how much damage... I'm going to do my own testing here. Let's see. One shot. I'm going to do one more shot to see how much damage it does. And then I'm going to swap off. Five stacks. Watch the health bar. That was a pretty good chunk. But when we put on our class month, that gives us plus six. Which is plus six in interspersed outburst. Let's see the damage that it does. Wait to shoot. Don't shoot. It seems similar to me. It just seems similar. It does give us a greater chance to slag the target, which is nice. We'll basically be slagging everything all the time. I just don't know if that's better than the. Sh I don't know if that's better than the shock damage one. Hmm. What does this one do again? You know what? Let's do it. Let's just make our shield super big. It's fine. We'll do plus points and interspersed outburst. That way we're guaranteed to slag. Nice. Reload. Nearest burst outburst. It's got a much higher chance to. Yeah, this is the. Because when you reload. When you reload, you get one stack of it, basically. And ha having that slag is going to be really nice, which means I can swap off of slag transfusion and go to something like a longbow transfusion. Or even an anti affection at this point. Please. Thank you. How about a little anti faction action. Oh, I got no grenades. Here, pick up, pick up one. It's lag and burned. Let's, you can't just, you can't kill every boss instantly. You gotta, you gotta think about what your decisions are and how that implicates the rest of your run. Okay, we got two more grenades. She's, she's gonna stay in a little bubble. That is fine. Let's kill the mobs just by reloading. So funny. Watch. Okay, how much damage does this do? Pretty good. Just the passive little strike. Yeah, that's pretty good. Especially if they're slag, they probably die. Boom, see ya. Alright, there you are. Well, get that that heal juice away from me. She's slagged and she's totally bagged inside of a terribly horrific grenade for her, but not for me. There we go. Sorcerer's daughter goes down. Oh, just I'll wait a second. I got no problem waiting a second. Thank you. Let's see. I get stressed out when I when I get new uniques because it's so, you don't know what they actually do. Laco and the twister. I think the twister could be what we're looking for as far as a, a shock weapon. Shield. 
Yeah, this is not going to be that good. I, I honestly believe that we're on the right track as far as using interspersed outbursts and whatnot. And no mimic. No mimics, please. Thank you. Longbow Tesla. Longbow Tesla could be a, a really high DPS grenade. Oh, a tail. Thanks. Really worth pulling from that one. All right, we can go ahead and take some points into... Let's do fancy mathematics. And made of sterner stuff. I think that'll be fine. Let's go next. Woo. Depending on what raid boss we get, we might have to swap up what our weapons of choice are. I think I want to max out my grenades. Yeah, no thanks. Maxima grenades, and the twister might be our best option. So let's just hit that one up a couple times. Um, hit SMG up a couple times. Shock. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to pull the box once. Box me. That looks pretty nice. The Hellfire. The Hellfire instead of what I've got. And we're not going to rock sludge a shotgun, but that's okay. All right, so then our character will be back. All right, so heading to the raid boss, we got a, a Hellfire for fire. A Twister for Shock, a Bad Touch for Corrosive, Launcher, Turtle Shield. We're going to be going for a... The Anti-Affection could be good. A Longbow Test Love for now, just to get some early damage. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let's just go see how we can do it. Oh, also, my character. It's, uh... <laughs> oh, man. I'll show you. She doesn't have a name. She's just she's Royal Gage. She's got the royalty colors of... Um... What is it? Purple and gold? Now, I think shock works on this laddie. I need to use shock on this lad, for sure. If I remember correctly. Let's go, baby. Me v you. I got... I would say I have no quarrel with you, good sir knight, but I, in fact, do have a quarrel with you, good sir knight. Come on, get, get me in there. Well, he's shocked out of his gourd, that's for sure. Okay, we get interspersed outburst each life. Or each reload. Can't tell if it's slagging or not, though. That's okay. He, he's getting chunked. Absolutely chunked. Whoever said you need anarchy uh, was lying to you. You do not. And you're saying, oh, that's just the twister? Is it just the twister? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Dude. I mean, I mean, look at these. I mean, look at these non-boss enemies. They are just getting... Just rinsed. I mean, in Death Trap, he, he killed that small Varkid in three melee strikes. So, I know this isn't OP 10 or whatever, but this is ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Just saying. Oh, finally. You, you decided to join us. Oh, thanks. Fire. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Off the edge I go. Oh. Wow. Lucked out on that one. I can, it consumes four ammo per shot, and it's only one shot, but kind of nice. Fire. Got some grenades at the grounds. I mean, my shield's been just fine. I've been doing... Feeling a okay as far as that goes. And what's really nice about Gage is, oh, look at that ricochet. Yes. Um, is that with how much air of effect damage we have with ricocheting bullets, with uh, synergizing with Teslas very well, interspersed outburst, and every time you reload, sending a shock uh, explosion out there, you can actually focus on the boss more than other. Uh, Characters can, I think. I found myself when I was fighting Pyro Pete and such, like, I'm able to just fo focus on Pyro Pete rather than everybody else. Here we go. We're doing okay. Fire. Alright, small enemies, they get wiped out pretty quickly. We're running low on some shotgun ammo, though. 
I think we'll be fine, but this is something we gotta think about. Chromax is dying. If I could actually hit my shot, it'd be good. You don't. That's not. That's not your fate, brother. Here we go. 80 rounds of my shot. I'm still fine. Gotcha. Let's get right in there. No death trap right now, but that's. I'm. I'm absolutely fine. Except for this guy right here. This guy's got to go. Yep. Gone in one hit. Does the interspersed outburst damage do more when I wait? Man. That's a good question. Let's just wait and see how much damage we can do in one hit. Four. Five. Fire. That's a good chunk. That's a pretty good chunk. I'm reloading like every second. Come on, you got this. Nice. Turns out we are maybe missing some damage. But I think we're doing fine. Like, we are very, very tanky. The turtle shield. Plus the fact that I'm killing everything around me all the time. Yeah. Not a not ashamed of this run whatsoever. Very, very nice. Let's see if we get any cool loot. The gunner rang. I snooze it. I don't think I'm ever picking that thing up again, to be honest with you. Never again in my life. The punchy or the bladed tablet? Well, that's going to be for this video. Um, actually, I do want to check out to see if I get any, a new puzzle. The, the 1.0.7 update, I think they did it a couple more. And this is something I, I like to include this part of the game. Just simply because like this, they put a lot of work into these custom zones. So, it's something that I... If I had worked that hard on it, I would want people when making the, their YouTube videos about it to, to try it out. Man, these are tough jumps, huh? I'm a tough cookie, though. Jump. Yes. Okay. Jump. Ooh, man. Can I make that one? Yes, I can. Are they going to have me do grenade jumps, though? I, they have not yet made me do grenade jumps for any of the secrets in the entire game. We can do this. This is me. I was born for this. Since we're, since we're only going to tier one today, getting some extra bonus clips will be good. Jump. Oh. Let's down and I am coming. Oh. Yes. The last jump. Let's go. Difficulty tier two on lock. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, it's gonna be for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.